I'm Dr. Rico Short, board certified root canal specialist, and uh, have a patient here um, that had some experience with some uh, um, chronic uh, sinusitis and some other issues, and he just want to tell you guys uh, what happened in an experience uh, before the root canal and after the root canal. The uh, sinus doctor had told me for years he thought that the source of my sinus infections was a, a uh, infection in my root of my tooth. It took me years to believe him, and finally I did believe him. I came out to Dr. Short. He, he uh, did the root canal, uh, which I would avoided for at least 10 years, and almost instantaneously the dif difficulty with my sinuses began to clear up. Uh, it's uh, amazing and I would have never believed it if it hadn't happen happened to me. I don't like operations. I don't like the word root canal. It scares the hell out of me. But it didn't hurt and they got great TV. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so as far as how root canals are done now, um, would you say it's something just very scary like they used to be or do you think, um, you know, technology has made it a lot better? Well, I don't know what it was like before because I never had one before, but this was nothing like, I don't know what I expected, but this was relatively easy. And everything was done on time. Uh, everything, uh, they told me what was going to happen and everything happened just like it was supposed to. So I, I, w I would not hesitate to have another root canal if I needed it. So tell me a little bit about your sinus problem that you had. Did you ever have any sinus surgeries and things like that prior to the root canal? Or uh, tell me a little bit about how your ENT kind of figured that, hey, you know what? This might be something different than just a sinus issue. Well, I've been going to the same doctor for 20 years. I've had chronic sinusitis for 20 years. Uh, he wants to operate on me and open up the sinus because it apparently is not draining properly. But he also felt like there was some risk that the all sinus problems that I've had related to this uh, abscess or, or infection in the tooth and that that infection was spreading into my gum, into my sinuses. I didn't understand that, but, but now I do. He was absolutely right. Had we done this 10 years ago, I would have saved myself a lot of uh, discomfort and, and, and taking a whole lot of antibiotics that I didn't, didn't really need to take. Awesome. And also, I know you mentioned that you went to a um, particular uh, dentist who did some fancy 3D x-rays and I think he probably did some uh, cone beam um, tomography or CBCT, and he was able to kind of see some things that the other um, that you couldn't see on the traditional X-ray. Is that correct? My regular dentist saw nothing. Doctor K uh, has this high-powered X-ray system that is able to really look into the sinuses, and he forecasted everything that has happened. That is, the X-rays told him that I have a, a problem with my teeth, I needed the uh, root canal. And it's highly, based on his work, he thought it was highly probable that once we got the root canal done, the infection problem would begin to, to, to go away. It's not, I wouldn't say it's completely gone away, but the difference now, from now, from before, from before when I had the root canal is just uh, night and day. Okay. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. H, for your time, and uh, we we definitely appreciate you. And I know this message is going to help a lot of other people that deal with uh, chronic sinusitis and other issues. That a lot of issues that we have could be multidisciplinary. It may not just be a sinus issue, it may not just be a tooth issue, it could be a combination issue. So we appreciate your time and uh, helping people out there. Take care. Thank you.